Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another update for the 2020 Vision project. As I think you guys know by now, but just to be sure, this project has been organized by Haley from Makeup Tips 102 on Instagram, um, Elizabeth who is Cookie Pens on Instagram, and Paula who is a beauty guru, made me do it both on YouTube and Instagram. Um, yeah, they asked me to join, or especially Elizabeth asked me to join this challenge together with them. And the goal of this challenge is to finish off 20 beauty products and 20 makeup products. And that is what I'm working on. Um, I started this project somewhere in, I think, August last year. Um, and we're already kind of like at least six months in. So let's take a look at the progress that I've been able to make in that time. So of my 20 beauty products, I've already finished off 16 and I've got four left right here. So let's take a quick look at them. Um, the first one is this original source green banana and bamboo milk moisturizing shower milk that I'm working on. I love the smell of this. That banana smell is amazing. And this is the progress that I've been making on that one since the last update. I was hoping to finish this one off in two updates. Now, February is a little bit shorter, so I might be able to, but I'm also going away for at least a week in the next month. So it's gonna be close. I might be able to finish it, and I might not be able to finish it. Those are the only two options. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'm hoping I can finish this one off and I will have another beauty product gone, but we'll see. I still love this, so I don't mind it hanging around for a little bit longer. But uh, for the sake of the project, I uh, would love to finish it. And then the two skincare items that I'm still working on are both my image uh, products right here. One of them is the Ageless Total Overnight Retinol Mask. I really like using this. It is um, hydrating enough, but it has the retinol in it, which helps with all the impurities going on uh, on my face as well. I just don't know where I am because when I try to shine through this, I don't really see much. Um, and there is like it pumps up so that that's the only thing that I really know like tapping it doesn't really give me much information so I'm working on it I'm using this twice a week and I'm hoping I will finish this one off soon <laughs> and then this one in specific I am really really afraid I won't be able to finish um, this is a clear cell clarifying pads and I'm I've still got like loads of pads in here. It's full until here where my finger is. It's kind of hard to see, it looks like. Um, I'm cutting these up in four and then I'm using one every time I use this. And normally I use this twice a week as well, which basically means that it takes me two weeks to finish up even just one pad. And there were 60 in here. When I started using it, I did use it a few times already. So let's say there were 50 in here. That would mean it will take me a hundred weeks to finish this off. Um, yeah, I don't have a hundred weeks and even though I already finished off a few, I don't think I will be able to get this done before the end of this project, which is a little bit of a shame, but I could have known when I put this in if I would have really calculated this through. But at least um, thanks to this product, I'm using them on a regular basis, so that is a good thing. Um, and then lastly for the beauty products, I have my solid perfume and I have made some nice progress on this one actually. You'll probably be able to see a little bit better in the close-up, but there is, first it was still up to like, all the way up to the wire kind of where the cap screws on. But right now you can really see that it has dipped down below and at least on certain sides of it. And I can really see them starting to make progress on this. So before I wasn't sure whether I would be able to finish this one off before the end of the year. But if I look at the progress that I've been able to make now that I've actually been using it for the full month, I have a little bit more faith and I think I should be able to work through this um, within the next six months or so, I hope. We'll see. But yeah, the progress is happening and it is a little bit more visible now, so that makes me happy. And then on to the makeup products. So one of the products that I've been using every single day is this Miss Helen eyeshader pencil. Um, I've got two sides that I'm working on and they count as two products. Both of them are in here completely loose now as you can see. So that is a little bit annoying when I'm using it because when I'm trying to use it uh, on the one side it basically pushes the product out on the other side. Before it was only the light side that was loose and now it's both so it just 
kind of move so what I'm doing is I'm kind of trying to push it out a little bit more on the side where I'm using it so I'm not using it directly flat but I'm using it a little bit more like this if that makes sense and then I'm going all over my eye um, so yeah it's not ideal to use but it's still very creamy at the same time it's just because it's getting older it's starting to dry out a little bit so it's coming loose from the sides and that is just what's happening at the moment um, I'm focusing mostly on the dark side and I'll show you a quick close-up you can see that I've really made some good progress on that side so I'm really happy with that and I'm working my way through um, but then on the light side I haven't made as much progress just because like I said I've been focusing mainly on the darker side um, but I mainly try to sharpen them over the weekend when I've been working on them all week and sometimes I get to kind of the flat part of the dark sides before the end of the weekend and I start using the light side so that's kind of how I've been making a little bit of progress on that side as well um, yeah how much can you talk about just to eyeshadow bases um, anyway the next product that I'm working on is this Fique powder polish in Sugar May and this is from the Avoir La Peche collection and I've made some nice progress on this one again you can definitely see the pan is starting to get bigger and bigger in here I was hoping to be able to, to get all the way to the side this time I didn't manage but I know I'm definitely going to be able to do that by next time and then I can start to, to work my way around like that and that will make it a little bit easier to track the progress as well um, yeah I like this product actually it is pretty hydrating it works nicely there is a little bit of color in here but nothing too crazy and I've gotten used to the smell I'm actually starting to like it a little bit even though it's still a weird smell but yeah I, uh, I like this product and I'm not um, and I'm actually okay with the fact that this is gonna be here for another while because it is so big um, next product and this was the one I was hoping I would be able to finish off by this time but from what I'm saying right now I'm sure you can guess that that didn't happen just yet um, I'm really really close though um, just to show you where I am you can barely see the product from this far away so in the close-up you'll be able to see a little bit better I'm really really close I'm still using this as a bronzer uh, contour basically on my cheeks and I'm using this in my brows as well and I'm certain this time that this is gonna be gone by next time which is really exciting because I've still got some beauty products to work through so it's gonna be good to have at least one of them out um, yeah that is that one and then this one you have probably seen in my Rilla Pan collab if you've watched that as well because uh, I accidentally put this in a project at the same time and I have hit side pan on this one at this point. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I think putting it accidentally in another project made it that I had a really good kickstart to really start using it and it's part of my day-to-day -day routine now, which is really good. Um, and I know I'm gonna start working through this and making some nice progress over the next couple of months until it's finished. So that is that one. I'm happy with this one bought it for my brows it's a little bit too warm for that but i really like it as a transition color in my uh, crease so that's what i'm using it as and those are the products that i'm actually working on but i quickly wanted to show you one product that i'm hoping to make progress on because i feel like if i show you guys i might feel more uh, <laughs> pressured is not the right word but i might actually start using it because i've told you guys i was planning to i don't want to come back to you guys and say oh well actually i said i was going to use it but i didn't so that is this one this is a catrice lipstick um and this is in lovely rose it's a nice pink color and i feel like it is like dark enough to work for winter but it will nicely go into spring and summer as well because it is still vibrant enough and this is what it looks like so uh, I'm looking forward to try and use this one a little bit more over the next month so I can hopefully show you guys some progress on an additional makeup product because I've still got quite a bit that I haven't touched just because I've got similar products that I'm working on. I can't work on like five lip glosses and 10 lipsticks and three highlighters at the same time. That just doesn't work for me. So some of them are not being touched at the moment but I'm hoping that this one will get used over the next month so I can show you guys some progress. And that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I'm hoping to see you in one of my next videos. And bye for now.